after the sun's going to be coming out. It'll be a little warmer up there. It won't be really warm. It's still going to be really cold for those. Do yeah. they heat the water there? I don't think I don't so. Think no. <laughs> no. no. They're, they're going to stick it to you. you yeah, know? they it's should. Does anybody do it like naked or in a bikini or anything like that? Probably. Probably. <laughs> Maybe I'll go. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if it's something you want to see, but you know, we'll see. Depending <laughs> on who it is. Depending on who it is, exactly. <laughs> now, but it should be great weather for it. We have big changes moving in this weekend. Right now, we're still trying to get through some downpours. So let's get to that. This is a look from our tower camera uh, here in Portland. Temperatures have cooled. We're at 57, so we're quite a bit below average right now. It's been a cool day. That is not going to be how it pays plays out as we head into the weekend. As far as the rain is concerned, that's moving out too. But for now, it's causing some problems out in the roads as far as traffic's concerned. Carly will show you that in a second. Uh, but look at this heavy rain coming down. Beaverton to Tiger, Tualatin. So in between Tiger and Tualatin, a very heavy shower uh, heading to the south there and back towards uh, uh, Shadowwood too. All this pushing down to the south. Oregon City getting in on some of the action. And of course, uh, south of Portland over in the Capitol Hill area, uh, we're seeing some of those showers to move in a southerly direction. Heading back out towards wine country and a little bit farther south in the valley, uh, we had some intense showers over McMinnville, now pushing towards the Kaiser area and into Salem, so that's going to impact uh, how things are going on I-5. And then as you head up to the north, Vancouver in the clear for now, but you can see these heavy showers coming out of the Longview area, and they're really not going anywhere, so we're going to see some ponding on the roads there right along I-5, and that's sliding to the south. And even though we're seeing some sunshine in Vancouver right now, this is a look from our camera up that way, we have more rain moving in, so this is just a nice little sun break before more showers move in very shortly. So here's how it pans out for the evening. Once the sun sets, we're going to see all this move on out. So 5 o'clock, we're still dealing with some of these showers. These are all developing from the northwest and pushing to the southeast. So we'll still see a few scattered showers. 7 o'clock, a lot of it's starting to die down and push out of the area, but still some rain around. By 10 o'clock, though, after the sun goes down, most of these showers will be done with any action really uh, staying back towards the Cascades there. We'll see some snow. Snow levels right around 4,000, 4,500 feet. So we'll try to pick up a couple of inches before we head into the weekend for the mountains. And then we get to Saturday and we're going to be drying things out. So your forecast for this evening as far as temperatures go, 50s all the way through 11 o'clock. And then the, the trend will be for these showers to fizzle out and diminish and we will cool down to eventually down to 47 degrees for a low tonight. So we're going to be looking at a cool start tomorrow, but it's going to warm up very quickly. Here's how it plays out. Saturday 4 a.m. Uh, you can see some cloud cover lingering, but we're done with the rain in the morning. So after a cloudy start, those clouds start to break up. We start to get some sunshine. By the time you head out to lunch tomorrow, if you're doing a late brunch or a lunch, uh, expect a mix of sun and clouds back through the gorge and east of the Cascades, we're already looking at abundant sunshine. And also, we're going to be looking at that sunshine coming out very quickly for the coast. If you have plans ahead there, Saturday's looking really nice as well. High pressure moves on in. It's going to warm us up. So we start to warm up Saturday, and then it really kicks into high gear as we head into Sunday. So we're going to be looking at a huge warm up with sunshine, temperatures feeling like summertime, and we're done with the cloud cover all weekend long. We'll just have to watch out for breezy, blustery conditions in the gorge thanks to this warm up. So your Saturday, highs around 70 up and down I 5 into the 60s for the coast, central and eastern Oregon, low to mid 60s. We head into Sunday, Hood River in the 80s, 80s for the Dalles, 70s for Pendleton, low to mid 80s up and down the valley, and coastal areas even getting into the middle and upper 70s. Sunday is going to be the day to be at the coast. It is going to be incredible. And then Monday, we're looking at highs staying in the 70s for the coast, and again, another day spent in the 80s for us here in the valley. So your seven-day forecast here. Uh, temperatures will stay on the warm side. A huge warm-up this weekend through the early part of next week with shower chances returning as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and that's when we'll start to see the winds die down a little bit for uh, the gorge. So it'll be a little breezy if you want to go for a hike out that way to see the wildflowers, but I still think it's going to be beautiful and just get outdoors mm -hmm. this weekend somehow, some way. It's going yes. to be incredible. Thank you.